You'll note that he's an impaction pig. He's got a lot of stuff built up there. So I guess the first thing I'm gonna do is clean that out and we'll turn the camera off for that. I've gotten everything ready, his medications, his cage. And just of note here in the cage, I have a soft flat pad underneath a hide and I chose a large open hide so that I'm going to be able to just to look in and see how he's doing over the next few days without messing with him too much since he's going to be sore from his surgery. And by the way, the bedding is just Carefresh and I shred off his paper and uh, mix in with the Carefresh to extend it a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and give him his critical care. He's going to get that for a couple days to be sure he's getting the calories he needs to heal. And because he's not real anxious to start eating real quick, um, I have his carrot juice mixed with his uh, probiotics. Uh, this is just what I choose to use for probiotics. You could use the Benny Back, which is what you get from your veterinarian. Uh, this is much less expensive and I have a few guinea pigs on probiotics. I have his syringes ready. If you'll note, the syringe comes with a long curved tip. Snip it off because you don't want that going back in their throat. And if there are any rough edges, just file them down. This is carrot juice mixed with water. He needs fluids. Hopefully he'll like taking the carrot juice. I don't want to give it to him full strength too much because too much sugar can mess with their bowels a little bit, but the extra calories would be good for him, but, but mix it half and half with water. So now let's get him out of carrier and see how he's, how he's doing. So first we're gonna give him his antibiotic. Let's see how he likes that. Oh, good boy. This is his probiotic. He's taking that nicely too, good. Okay, this is the, now I've never given him critical care before. I don't know if he's ever had critical care before. Um, so this is going to be a learning curve for us all. So let's see how this goes. Notice again, I keep that angle in line going down his throat, not up like this, because then it'll just squirt out against the roof of his mouth. Looks like he's going to be a very, very good syringe eater. Let's see if he'd like some carrot juice to run wash some of that critical care down. So just another reminder, his surgery was far less than 24 hours ago. Remove that huge stone that was totally blocking his urethra. His bladder was huge. And the veterinarian had me feel it. Feel it. it was like two golf balls on each side. It was so backed up. So, it's about 18 hours since the search. It's looking pretty good. So that's the update on Cletus. We'll tell you more tomorrow.